Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the topic of how to recommend a counselor to a person who's struggling with depression. This is a topic that I have experienced being on both sides of. I've struggled with depression myself, and I had a number of people recommend me to see counselors in various ways. And over the years I've seen a number of different counselors, and I've experienced with some of them helping me and some of them not really helping me. I want to start with how not to recommend a person to see a counselor. There are two things that I hear people say a lot. I've heard people say them to me, and I've heard people say them to other people, that I think are really bad things to say. The first is, you should see a counselor. And the second, which is even worse, is you need to see a counselor. People often say these sorts of things, like you should see a counselor, or you need to see a counselor, when someone is expressing a lot of frustrations and they're in a very depressed mindset. They, they might be complaining a lot, they might be saying a lot of really negative things. And I've noticed that people tend to make those statements when they're feeling frustrated or overwhelmed. And I think that's part of the problem right there. If you're talking to someone out of frustration, you're acting out of frustration, I think that's going to come through in your tone of voice and in your word choice. And I think it's likely to come across to the person like you don't really care, or like you're just trying to sort of dismiss them. So if you're starting to get frustrated with someone close to you who's experiencing depression, don't recommend a counselor when you're frustrated. But there are other reasons to avoid those specific wordings of you should see a counselor or you need to see a counselor. One of them is the insight that I gained when I was depressed, which is that when people are depressed, they often use a lot of thought patterns that either contain the word should or contain something similar to it. Like they tend to beat themselves up. I did this a lot, like I would say, oh, I should have done this differently, I shouldn't have done that, and I would start to feel bad when I was thinking these things. And similarly, when I would, was depressed, I would say, oh, I should be doing this, I should be reaching out to people, I should be doing this work, I should be improving myself or taking initiative in some way. But just saying should doesn't make me really want to do it. It doesn't really motivate me to do it. It's sort of part of this cycle of beating myself up. So when you say to someone, you should see a counselor, it's not always going to come across this way, but in some people it may kind of activate that neural machinery of beating yourself up. That's not what you want to do. So I want to recommend avoiding that word. Saying you need to see a counselor is worse, because what that can communicate in many cases is that the person isn't able to help themselves, and that they have this need to get external help. And I know when people said that to me, I would start sinking into these thought patterns like, oh my gosh, I'm really messed up, I'm never going to get better, and things like that. And so that's probably one of the worst things you can say. So how do you recommend a counselor to someone? The first thing I think is important is to actually have a counselor in mind. One thing to consider, when people are struggling with depression, they're doing all they can to sort of deal with their negative thoughts and negative mood. And they don't necessarily have as much initiative as people who aren't struggling with depression. So if you just tell someone to see a counselor, that doesn't really help them at all. They might even want to see a counselor on their own. So if you just tell them to see it, it doesn't help them. But if you can come up with names and contact info of counselors, that might be a lot more useful. It's important to be selective about what kind of counselor you recommend, and what kind of counselor you see if you have depression. There are a lot of different types of therapy out there, and I'm not going to cover all of them. But I just want to say, some of them have more of a solid scientific foundation than others, and my personal experience fits with this. One popular form of psychotherapy is Freudian psychoanalysis. I saw one counselor at Yale, actually, who was sort of versed in this type of therapy, and I don't think he was very helpful. I also have looked up a lot of studies on psychoanalysis, and I don't see very much scientific evidence that it works. On the other hand, there's another type of therapy called cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, I've seen a lot of scientific evidence that it works, and actually seeing that evidence was what caused me to seek out a counselor who practiced that, and I found that when I went to this counselor, 
she was able to help me immensely in a short period of time. So I would recommend recommending a counselor who practices cognitive behavioral therapy over a counselor who practices psychoanalysis. Those are just two examples. Okay, so then how do you talk to the person? How do you recommend a counselor? One thing I think is important is to not necessarily bring, it, bring up the topic when the person is at their lowest point. Because again, they're not going to have the most initiative at that point. Even when people are depressed, they tend to have some level of ups and downs. So try to, to reach the person when you feel like you're able to get through to them more. And try not to be pushy, try not to boss them around, but try to just make it easy for them to see a counselor. Like you could say, hey, I looked up this counselor and I heard a good recommendation from them from so-and-so, or whatever evidence is sort of backing your recommendation, you can share it with them. And then just give it to them. Don't pressure them to do anything, but just provide something that will make it easier for them to contact the counselor. I hope you've gained some insight from this, and I hope that it will help you to better reach out to people who are struggling with depression and recommend counselors to them in a way that is more constructive and is likely to come across more positively to them. Thank you.